And go out, by the way, while I'm here and sign up now for Truth Social. It's hot as a pistol. And you see that I call that one right. Leon, I tell you what, Elon, Elon is not going to buy Twitter. Where did you hear that before? From me. From a fake account. She says fake. A lot of them. Nah, he's got himself a mess. You know, he said the other day, oh, I've never voted for a Republican. I said, I didn't know that. He told me he voted for me. <laughs> so he's another bull artist, but he's not going to be buying it. He's not going to be buying it. Although he might later. Who the hell knows what's going to happen? He's got a pretty rotten contract. I looked at his contract. Not a good contract. I got to say, man. <laughs> I wish Trump wasn't seeking political power because if he's just like a normal guy who does these rallies because he likes to be in front of a crowd, they're entertaining. Yeah. He knows how to work the crowd. He's he is funny. He's an awful person, but he's fun. Elon, Elon. <laughs> Why does he talk like that? Yeah. But I love it. I love that he talks like that. <laughs> Elon. No, but he's accidentally funny. Like uh, yeah. Totally. Yeah, like um, like the time that uh, he was uh, presenting uh, awards for the Paralympic, U.S. Paralympic team and all the medals that they had won. And he's like, oh, they're great, they're wonderful. Yeah, I watched them a little. You can't watch them too much. It's a little painful. No, like, no, no, no. Okay, so, but he doesn't realize that he's being horribly offensive. So in this case, we're going to get to why they're beefing in a second. Uh, but why they're beefing? Uh, yeah, <laughs> but uh, but I'll solve the mystery of who's lying because Elon Musk says he never uh, voted for a Republican before, uh, but is ready to do that now. And and Trump says no, he told me he voted for me. Right? Uh, the correct answer is both. Uh, they're both lying. Uh, I wouldn't trust either one of them on anything. So is it possible that Elon Musk told Trump that he voted for him, uh, but didn't? Yeah, of course that's possible. Elon Musk is a liar. Uh, is it possible Elon Musk voted for Trump and then is pretending that he was a lifelong Democrat? Yeah, that's definitely possible. Is it possible that Trump is making up the whole story? Yeah, of course it's possible. He's a pathological liar. In other words, they're <laughs> both BS artists. A hundred percent. So I mean, look, if ever there was an expert to point to a BS artist, it would be Donald Trump. Yeah. Right, he would be able to identify one pretty quickly. So okay, uh, I hear him get, on that. Yeah, before we go to the rest, I mean, speaking of BS artists, he's like, I looked at the contract, not a good contract. Look, uh, Elon Musk is overhyped. Oh, he's such a genius. Then why did he offer forty-four billion for Twitter when anyone could tell that was ridiculous, awful, right? But Trump, you're gonna call him out on it, dude. You went bankrupt six times. I know. You're the world's worst businessman. I, I looked at the contract. What did you, you no, you didn't. You read a contract? <laughs> I know. You I can't know. read past the page, let alone legal legalese. You're crazy, man. He didn't look at the contract. He's an idiot. So um, Trump once actually had a lot of praise for Elon Musk. So I'm actually going to go to a video from January 22nd of 2020. Let's take a quick look at that. And then we'll get into the details about why Trump is actually salty toward uh, Elon Musk. Tesla is now worth more than GM and Ford. Do you have comments on Elon Musk? Well, you have to give him credit. I spoke to him very recently, and he's also doing the rockets. He likes rockets, and uh, he does good at rockets too, by the way. I never saw where the engines come down with no wings, no anything, and they're landing. I said, I've never seen that before. And I was worried about him because he's one of our great geniuses, and we have to protect our genius. You know, we have to protect Thomas Edison and we have to protect all of these people that uh, came up with originally the light bulb and uh, the wheel and all of these things. And he's one of our very smart people, and we want to we want to cherish those people. That's very important. But he's done a very good job. Trump should have just been a broadcaster. <laughs> he really should have just been a broadcaster yeah, like because his style of speaking. Look, take the substance, whatever you can call substance out of it completely, right? All the politics out of it. The way he speaks is excellent broadcasting, right? Uh -huh. The rockets, the rockets. And then what else did he say? Oh, the enunciation. Yeah, his, his his an, yeah. it is excellent enunciation. It keeps you listening. Unless he's saying the word origins. Yeah, that, that would, case, he's in a lot of trouble. When he's messing right. things up, not good. And he would not be a good fit for like NPR, where they like to whisper the news. Uh, but in other, you know, entertaining type news content, he might be good. No, he'd be good in sports. And not because he would know anything about sports, because it'd be hilarious, hilarious. to listen to. So uh, you know what? 
the guy throwing the ball, he's good with the with the ball. He's good with the ball, okay? And he and and it went down there or up there. Okay? And it would be hilarious, <laughs> you know. They they're calling him uh, Fitz Magic because he creates <laughs> magic, even though his name is Fitz Patrick. Okay. Anyways, uh, some oh. random reference. Um, so I mean, look at him. He's such a child. Yeah. Uh, and we we're laughing at him, but remember, forty percent of the country looks at him and goes, "Genius." They think he's a genius. He's like, he's good with the rockets. We need to protect our, our geniuses and and like like Edison, Edison and like the people the in, light in, bulb. in people in America that invented things like the light bulb and the wheel. No, no, Americans did not invent the wheel. America was not around <laughs> when we invented believe, the wheel. Let him, let him think it. Let okay. Him think it. But he probably, by probably every Republican in the country is like, what do you mean we invented the wheel and we invented fire? Okay. All right, so uh, let's get to why Trump is actually so, like why his um, heart has changed toward Elon Musk. He went from wanting to protect the genius to now all of a sudden, he's a BS artist. Well, uh, remember, one of the more enticing elements of Elon Musk buying Twitter for right wingers was that he would restore Donald Trump's account. He's been banned from Twitter ever since he refused to calm the Capitol rioters on January 6th and continued spreading lies about the election allegedly being stolen from him. And so um, Elon Musk wrote, even though I think a less divisive candidate should be better or would be better in 2024, I still think Trump should be restored to Twitter. And I'm sure that got Trump real excited. Now, two days later, Trump predicted that Elon would not go through with buying Twitter. So he deserves his, I guess, just desserts on this. Let's watch that. Elon Musk, so I don't believe he's gonna buy Twitter because you have so many fake accounts, the bots, all of the different things. I think it's gonna be very interesting. And he's got some problems because he bought a lot of stock that he shouldn't have bought. You got a lot of problems with Twitter, but the, the Twitter has a lot of problems. So go to Truth, Truth Social. All right, and there's Trump uh, plugging his Truth, uh, Truth Social competitor to Twitter. Um, and then in June, Elon was asked which potential presidential candidate he would support in 2024. And this is where it gets good, because this is really where Trump uh, is likely to be upset with uh, Elon Musk. Uh, what are you leaning toward? And Elon Musk says, DeSantis. Oh, he don't catch mm, feelings over that. He no like that. Yeah, yeah, but he. I'm telling you, for the first tweet was enough. That's why Trump uh, hit him two days later. He says, even though I think a less divisive candidate would be better in 2024. No, Trump's out. He's gonna Done. hate him. Yep. I, I read the tweet. I mean, the contract. Not a good contract. Good rockets. Bad contract. 